हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर समत खान डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन आवेद इनामदार सीनियर कॉलेज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ पीएचपी इन विच वी विल कवर सेवन चैप्टर्स ऑल दिस चैप्टर्स वी विल कवर इन सेशन वाइज ईच चैप्टर अगेन इट विल बी कम्प्लीटेड विद इन सेशन वाइज सो विदाउट एनी मच मोर डिले वी विल स्टार्ट विद द लेक्चर सीरीज हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर Abdul Samad Khan Department of Computer Application Abid Ainamdar Senior College okay so student we are starting with the first chapter of PHP that is introduction to PHP okay this is a type of programming language okay that is in your SYBPCA semester 3 so first chapter is introduction to PHP okay so first a basic idea that what PHP stands for PHP stands for hypertext preprocessor okay full form of php is hypertext preprocessor okay now what is php php is a widely used open source scripting language okay what is php basically php is open source scripting language php is a scripting language that is basically executed on the server php is free to download and use we can download php from any browser from any server and we can download we can install it and we can easily use it okay so this is a small introduction of php php stands for hypertext preprocessor it is a scripting language that is freely available we can download it it is open source scripting language it is executed on the server and it is free to download and use okay now basically what can php do php can generate dynamic web content web page content PHP can create open read write delete and close file on the server PHP can collect form data PHP can send and receive cookie PHP can add delete modify data in your database PHP can be used to control user access and PHP can encrypt data basically PHP is used to create dynamic web page content okay by using PHP we can create the file we can open the file we can read write delete and close the file on the server php can collect form data simple example of form data is like when students are filling admission form whatever the details they give while doing the admission that is collected by your form and that form data uh, is basically with the help of php php can send and receive cookie now what is cookie cookie is a uh, nothing but it is a temporary file that is stored on the browser simple example of cookie whenever you log in with your gmail as soon as you just click on for example user id the text automatically comes now where that text is saved that is saved in your cookie we can add we can delete we can modify data in your database php can use to control user access and we can encrypt the data by using php why php okay again this question is correct why php okay because php can run on various platform we can run php on any platform for example windows linux unix mac os etc php is compatible with almost all the servers using today basically the example of servers are like apache iis we have xamp we have wam server we have lamp server okay so basically it is compatible with all the servers that we are using today php supports a wide range of database example of database like oracle 10g sql server sql plus okay this all the servers are supported by php php is easy to learn and runs efficiently on the server side okay a diagram which shows you running of php how does php work the working diagram of php as you can see first that we have php script okay first we have to write down the script by using different syntax by taking different variables attributes we write we create php script that script is forwarded to php engine okay that script is uh, forwarded to php engine php engine will just pass that script to your server 
ओके नाउ इन द ट्राइंगल यू कैन सी पी एच पी सर्वर दैट इज अपाचे ओके नाउ अपाचे इज अ सर्वर बेसिकली दैट प्रोसेस योर पी एच पी स्क्रैप ओके नाउ वाइल प्रोसेसिंग वी हैव टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट वन इज ऑरेकल डेटा बेस ओके नाउ डेटा बेस इज बेसिकली वेर योर स्क्रिप्ट कैन बी सेव्ड दैट वैल्यूज टेकन फ्रॉम पी एच पी द एट्रीब्यूज टेकन फ्रॉम पी एच पी दैट इज स्टोर्ड इन योर डेटा बेस एंड सेकेंड हाउ टू रन पी एच पी पी एच पी स्क्रप पी एच पी स्क्रिप्ट इज बेसिकली रन विद द हेल्प ऑफ योर ब्राउजर वीरियस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ब्राउजर आर गूगल क्रोम इंटरनेट एक्सप्लोर फायरफॉक्स दिस आर बेसिकली द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ब्राउजर नेक्स्ट थिंग वी हैव दैट इज वर्किंग ऑफ पी एच पी दैट इज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन जस्ट सी द कंटेंट ओके वर्किंग ऑफ पी एच पी द डायग्राम इज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन ओके नाउ पी एच पी इंस्टॉलेशन two most important things that are required for php installation first thing is installation of xamp and second is installation of visual studio code okay we by by installing this two applications or two software then only you can run your php uh, php code if it if it is on stand alone system okay if you are running your php on stand alone system you need two applications that is xamp and second one is visual studio code xam is nothing but it will be a server that we have to install and visual studio code it is nothing but it is a text editor or we can say code editor where you type the code okay student uh, for php installation i will give you a video uh, that will be on php installation only because it is a separate part in which you will only learn how to install php basic syntax of php okay as you can see on the screen php script starts with okay you can see the start of php is php script and it ends with okay it starts with greater than question mark php and it ends with question mark and less than symbol okay as you can see the example on my screen this is the starting of php and this is closing of php and between the, this two tags you write down the code the default file extension for php file is .php okay for example i am creating a file that is hello so it is compulsory that i give the extension as .php then only my file will execute then only my file will run so it is very much compulsory that you store your file with .php extension you can see the example okay in this example uh, we have declared html we have declared body we have taken h1 tag in h1 tag i have given my first php page closing of h1 tag again opening and closing of php tag and in php tag i have taken something called as echo now what is echo echo is a php build in function uh, build function to output the text okay it is a function that will show you the output okay so echo hello world okay now whatever we will write in echo that will be printed as the output okay echo is used to print whatever text you give okay now again echo is basically in three types we can say it is case sensitivity okay now echo you can declare in three formats first one is echo that is all small second one is echo that is all capital and third one is echo e capital c small h capital o small the, in this three format we can declare echo okay and you can see the text that we have given that is hello world okay on the other hand we, variables are not case sensitive okay variables are not case sensitive that is dollar name okay whenever we are declaring variable we have to declare variable with dollar symbol okay so i have declared variable dollar name second thing dollar name that is all capital and third one again dollar n a m e n is capital a is small m capital e capital now this all three variable will act as a three different variable okay so student this is your session 1 in which uh, a quick recap what we have seen we have seen uh, what is php okay what php can do okay why php we have seen the working of php we have uh, we have seen the installation which i will give you a complete video of php installation basic syntax of php example of php and the working of 
echo in three different format okay so we'll just end the session right now and in the next session we will continue your chapter number one